Let's talk about Binance and the theory that this recent dip in the Bitcoin price is CZ selling his customers Bitcoin in order to prevent the total collapse of the BNB token. Could this be Binance's FTX moment? What would a Binance collapse mean for Bitcoin and the broader crypto industry? Let's dig in. Bitcoin dipped hard at the end of last week, and of course, this wouldn't be a Bitcoin price dip without speculation all over Twitter on what caused it. First was the now debunked story. The sell-off was SpaceX dumping their entire $373 million Bitcoin bags, which was quickly shot down via X's own community notes, pointing out that there is no evidence that this is true. The original report in reality seems to have been a misinterpretation of a confusingly written Wall Street Journal report. Another theory is that this could be the canary in the coal mine of a broader stock market crash perhaps precipitated by China's lagging markets and in particular Evergrande filing for bankruptcy. Bitcoin's superior liquidity does allow it to historically front run a lot of the issues in the broader global markets. Keep in mind, it did sell off a clean two weeks prior to everything else during the COVID crash of March 2020. This theory could have some truth to it, but only time will tell. The theory circulating that seems to have gained the most attention online is that Binance is selling their customers Bitcoin to prop up their crypto Ponzi scheme. The largest crypto exchange in the world, run by Peng Zhao, or CZ, has shown some signs of being in trouble the last few months. This tweet by Travis Kling summarizes the sketchiness that has been Binance over the last year or so. Pretty wild price action in BNB. Not sure what's going on. It's almost as if Binance was sued by the SEC on numerous charges with damning evidence, was sued by the CFTC on numerous charges with damning evidence, had three senior executives quit in the same week, had a billion dollar plus collateral hole in Binance pegged BUSD, had Paxos forced them to wind down BUSD, got kicked out of Canada, Germany, Netherlands, and Belgium, about to be charged by the DOJ, strong evidence of massive money laundering, terrorist financing, and sanctions violations. Under investigation in France for, quote, aggravated money laundering, had their auditor quit and remove attestation, lost multiple banking partners and payment processors, can't process fiat in most countries, had Binance US effectively closed, laid off thousands of employees, cut benefits for remaining employees. Oh wait, Binance's very own vaporware token, BNB, broke below a key resistance of $230 early last week, which it held since early June, with many Bitcoiners calling for an imminent FTX style collapse. You may remember that the straw that broke the camel's back of the $10 billion fraud that was FTX was the sudden sell-off of their own out-of-thin-air token, FTT. When it became apparent that FTX was in trouble in November of 2022, FTT holders dumped on the market, ironically precipitated by a CZ tweet. This caused FTX to sell their clients Bitcoin in order to buy their own token to attempt to prop up and save their flailing company from liquidation. As we all know, their desperate attempts were in vain as the whole house of cards came tumbling down shortly thereafter. Turns out there were signs the curious gravity-defying market cap of BNB has been sketchy since way back in November. Check out this tweet by Dylan LeClaire pointing out the mystery of the BNB token's ability to defy gravity. BNB slash BTC still up 538% since the first day Bitcoin traded at 26k. The market is fake, fiat rails are getting cut off, and no organic new buyers to support the price except CZ. I told you this last November, the BTC pair was always the tell. In June of this year, market sleuths JW and Joe Consorti pointed out some unusual price action on Binance. They noticed loads of Bitcoin selling pressure on the platform that was not present on other exchanges. This was back when the $230 level was being staunchly defended. The theory was that levels below that were liquidation points for BNB collateralized loans. Fast forward to August 18th when the price of BNB began to break below the suspected liquidation level of $220 and continued bleeding. Could Binance be selling swaths of customers' Bitcoin in order to prop up their Ponzi so it lives to see another day? Only time will tell. Let's get into what an FTX style collapse could mean for Bitcoin and the broader crypto industry. <clears throat> Sorry, crypto industry. If Binance were to collapse in the coming months, this would obviously have some effects on Bitcoin's price. OG Bitcoiner Turdemeister pointed out in a recent tweet that in his April Bitcoin report, he identified Binance bankruptcy as the least likely short-term headwind for Bitcoin. He continued, This chart by CryptoCon shows with 2015 and 2017 parallels what an early Bitcoin bull market sell-off might look like. This matches our expectation that it would be a flush of weak hands and all in all be relatively short-lived. CEO of Bull Bitcoin Francis Puglio tweeted this in response to Tur. Reputable Bitcoin OGs agree Binance collapse would be, at worst, a mild bump on Bitcoin's journey to world domination. 
An additional flush of whatever weak hands are left would be a welcome cleanse before the real bull market gets started. While the effect of Binance collapse would have on Bitcoin would be limited, the damage it would do to the broader crypto landscape would be catastrophic. Binance is the biggest crypto casino on the planet and single-handedly props up much of the shitcoin industrial complex we see today. There is no question there is money to be made selling crypto pump and dump scams and Binance has become the captain of that massive stinky pile of ship over the last several years having the largest number of shitcoins listed on any exchange. Many of the tokens traded on Binance are extremely illiquid, meaning there is very low actual demand. Simply put, many of these useless vaporware tokens would disappear in a cloud of smoke if the only major exchange to list them was to go under. So while a Binance collapse would cause short-term pain for Bitcoin and potentially delay the onset of the bull run, it would also be very good for Bitcoin in the long term as it would flush out even more of this garbage and maybe even speed up the SEC's approval of a Bitcoin spot ETF. The SEC has cited concerns of market manipulation as the main reason for not approving spot ETF. The main culprit of this market manipulation is Binance as the SEC's own lawsuit against the exchange lays bare. The SEC views Binance as an offshore crypto casino with a penchant for flouting U.S. securities laws, so maybe a collapse of that exchange would clear the way for what the SEC wants. A Bitcoin marketplace dominated by regulatory compliance in the form of Coinbase and BlackRock. All right, I'll wrap this up with a few tweets. The first one in the words of fellow pleb Alan B. Watts. Quote, once Binance fails, the only major rugs left to pull are Ethereum and fiat. Bullish for Bitcoin. End quote. Could not agree more. Thank you, sir. And this one from Swan CEO Corey Clipston. Quote, I'm curious to hear some opinions about Binance's effect on Bitcoin. I've thought for years that Binance is a dramatic net negative for Bitcoin, fooling millions with altcoin marketing to suck demand away from Bitcoin and spending their crypto scam profits to choke Bitcoin companies out of markets around the world. Obviously, some people buy Bitcoin through Binance and sometimes Binance markets Bitcoin, but it seems clear to me that everything in the con column far outweighs the bit of good in the pro column. So what do you think? Is Binance a net negative on Bitcoin? Is CZ selling customers Bitcoin to prop up his casino for a little while longer? Is Binance on the verge of an FTX style implosion? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and like and subscribe to this video if you feel like it was valuable.